So the type of home ownership, are you a renter or owner? Owner. The type of structure, single family detached, multi-unit townhome, multi-unit condo, apartment. I guess single attached. Okay. And then date, you approximately moved into this home. December the 15th, 2001. Okay. That's when I married. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then have you always lived in Pulaski? No. Oh, okay. Tell me how you ended up in Pulaski. Uh, my husband. I married him. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> moved across the river. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from originally? Blakely. Blakely. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right. And your family, the rest of your family still lives in Blakely? No, they actually um, left over 10 years ago, and I live in Randolph County. They live in Randolph County? Mm-hmm. How far is that from here? Two hours and 15 minutes. Oh, so like your mom and my dad, dad all of them moved to Randolph. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, wow. They did. I have a brother in Worth County, um, but and that's about an hour and 45 minutes from here. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then the next question would be, now we're going to talk a little bit about your home. And can you tell me um, how many bedrooms, um, bathrooms, square footage, and the type of roof you have? Okay, um, I have a, sing- a shingle roof. Okay. And that's less than 10 years old. All right. Um, there's three bedrooms. Okay. Two full bathrooms. Mm-hmm. I have no idea about square footage. Okay. <laughs> None whatsoever. That's just, I don't, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. So do you have a rooftop solar for your home? I do not. Okay. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision or was it made for you? Um, I guess we just never even thought about that option. Oh, okay. We just once, um, cause it was storm damage when we had to fix our roof and mm-hmm. you know, the, whoever could get in there and do the, the cheapest amount at the, the best efficient roof. Um, right. And I, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't even thought of as an option. Right. And was that house, did y'all build that house or you bought it? No, it was built in the 1950s. Oh, so so it it was already built. So it was bought. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of felt like that was made the decision. You might have made the decision because y'all redid the roof, but you just never thought about it. Yeah. Okay. And I guess, you know, when the person that we were either insurance or the actual roofing company, mm-hmm. what was given in front of us was more of less tin, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they just give you your options, and I don't think that was an option. Solar just wasn't even an option right. either. Okay. And it wasn't suggested. No. Okay. And so if you had the option, though, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Depending. <laughs> okay. Um, Definitely. What? Cost efficiency. Okay. Um, you know, long long term investment there is it is it going to give us the return that we would want? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. What does it look like? I want oh. it to look good now. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> but other than that, <laughs> that's a. Hey, I don't blame you. You don't want no eyesore that's on right, your um, roof. <laughs> Anything else you would like to know? If you if you had that option, um, would I? You know, I definitely want to know: is there different types? Um, mm-hmm. You know, like sizes, or you know, it's if some more of an eyesore than others, or <laughs> um, you know, definitely price and you know that efficiency is super important. Oh yeah. yeah. So what you want to know too? Would it help you like your electric bill, or well, yeah. will it run completely off of that? And yeah, not any, have one? yeah, any of that. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I'm all about environmental. You mm-hmm. know, being friendly and you know is this gonna actually do that or when I it's time for me to remove it and upgrade it uh, is that a hazard what do I have to do with it Mm -hmm. Um, you know there's little things like that that I definitely have to know okay all right and so now we're gonna look at solar panel in general so I have a map of the United States and I would like for you to you can um check or star by any states that you think have rooftop solar energy in the United States. It doesn't have to be right or wrong answers. As in, I guess my mind starts to thinking, 
Mm -hmm. I mean, is it going to be that state going to be marked if just, only one county in that state has mm -mm. it? It doesn't matter. It's just where you think they would have rooftop solar panels in their homes. And you can say, you know, they might have it just because of, you know, these reasoning. It doesn't really have to be a reasoning behind. It's just, you know, what you think and feel on well, those X's and where you put them at. Well, I think there's the mm -hmm. potential for every... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Every state to have it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I really think there's going to be more over here. And you can circle it if you want to. Uh, yeah. I, like the New England area, I think, is, mm -hmm. I think they would have some. Um, I don't know. I would think Tennessee would have. I don't know. I'm going to go with this. Okay. All right. It's fine. <laughs> There's no right or wrong answers. We're not judging. So those areas that you put X's, you got California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. We got Iowa. We have Indiana, Ohio, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. And then the New England areas, the smaller ones up in the corner, and you clicked Alaska. So, with those states in mind. Hawaii. Yeah, oh, Hawaii, too. Yeah, yep. yep. <laughs> but we got Hawaii as well. Why do you think that these states that you checked off and circled um, have solar panels, rooftop solar panels? Okay, well, Georgia, of course, I mean, that's where I live. So, yeah. Um, and I know that it's an upcoming mm -hmm. solar energy community okay you know, communities all over Georgia mm -hmm. um, especially in the last couple of years so I just figured maybe some of the areas around us would have it too yeah um, you know because we're kind of always competing you know what does Florida have what do we have what does you know <laughs> North and South Carolina have yeah um, I, Texas is because it's huge and California I mean, and New York um, more of the mid plain states, I mm -hmm. think, is that they're going to be, they do a lot of wind energy, that kind of stuff, but um, I think they would be more apt to branch out to do solar since mm -hmm. they already have other other ways, you know, because I mean, it's wide open plains and right. all that stuff. So that's yeah. what I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. The New England, I thought, because um, I think of old money. Ah. So there's going to be people that want to spend their money on, um, mm -hmm. you know, things that are going to be a little bit more efficient. So maybe um, just those states seeming to have a maybe a little more wealth. Okay. So that's what I was thinking. All right. And then Alaska, um, they got to have a different mean of, of energy <laughs> where they're located. So I thought maybe that would work. Um, and I know that, you know, half the year they don't have, mm -hmm. you know, sun. Um, so maybe the half that they could that would build up some energy and maybe I don't know that's what I was thinking yeah. and then just Hawaii I was I, I figured I just got some some touristy stuff so mm -hmm. um, but you know they'd probably have some some solar energy going yeah. up in Hawaii too so that was awesome that's a good, lot of good information that's a good thought process I like that that's awesome I don't know but, but hey, hey there's no right or wrong answers so now we're going to look at the state of Georgia oh my goodness so in the state of Georgia where do you think those any counties too you can check that would have solar rooftop on their homes? Okay, um, I'm gonna do like the metro yep. Atlanta area. <laughs> yes, um, definitely. I would I I would come down and include Macon for sure, Albany, um, Valdosta. Where's that at? Lowndes, Lowndes, um, Lawrence maybe. Um, where's that? It's over here. I'd say around Savannah, so Effingham, Chatham, Glen, Camden. I don't know about McIntosh, but we'll say McIntosh. Possibly Liberty and Bryan, because they're all right there. Scriven, Burke, Richmond, uh, Augusta area, definitely. That's Burke, Richmond, Columbia, Lincoln. These are kind of getting a little smaller. Elbert, Hart, Rabin. Oh, you know, these are small communities, but there's lots of mountain ranges that mm -hmm. Mike could support. 
I'm going to say Union and Raven. Okay. Um, just took on Bartow, Foley, and yeah, all these, uh, they kind of are around there. Okay. Kelita Troop. That's all in that, that greater area. Yeah. But I included Athens, and I mean, it's like all, I know like Roswell and Marietta and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of, oh, Columbus, definitely yeah. Columbus. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, possibly, I don't know, there's Lee County, Crisp County. Um, I'd say Lee, Worth, Lee, Macon, Peach, Crawford, Taylor, Blakely, Dodge, Wilcox, Lawrence, Cockwit, May. Um, I don't know, I'll say Cockwit. Okay. Uh, that's... That's about it? Yeah. Okay. So you have a lot of stars. That's a, that's a guess. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we have the northern Atlanta area up there in the mountain areas, as you mentioned, Augusta, Columbus, um, Bibb County, down by Albany, even down south by Hawkway and Valdosta. And then we have the whole coast of Savannah and then Lawrence as well. So why do you think they have the rooftop solars um, in their county? Um greater area yeah <laughs> i mean lots more people in a, in their area so um in that land area yeah um mm -hmm. so most there's just ratio of more people more opportunity to and more buildings not more opportunity to have it mm -hmm. that and then the, like columbus macon mm -hmm. um dublin albany S mm -hmm. savannah you know the Ma athens um all that was just because it's a bigger city yeah. than us. Um, mm -hmm. Augusta, a uh, very medical base, so, um, you know, they're going to want more technology in that area. Same with Savannah, and, uh, and in the Savannah coastal area would be um, anything technology concerning marine, and, and I know that they do some stuff with some solar, so just mm -hmm. thinking that. Um, right. And then the mountains was a little different because... They just might need, it's not necessarily a bigger population, but um, they may be interested in other forms of energy just because they're kind of remote. And, and rural, kind of some of those in the rural too, that mm -hmm. um, just kind of thinking outside the box on maybe having some extra, yeah. know, extra ways to get energy there. Yeah, and that all makes sense. And then I'm just going to, um, why do you think these counties that you named, why do you think, um, compared to Pulaski, why doesn't Pulaski have it? We might, mm -hmm. um, but it would only be one or two. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the other counties have the opportunity to have more than just, you know, a family or two. Mm -hmm. um, that they, like I said, they are bigger populations. Um, mm -hmm. uh, solar energy is not cheap, mm -hmm. so I think it would be from counties that you know have. You know, have a a higher income level mm -hmm. um, uh, and maybe more businesses, um, right? That kind of stuff. So that's just what I was thinking. Yeah, and then back to let me ask you this question here: the ones that you named for the states, why do those states have it compared to Pulaski County as well? Much larger states than mm -hmm. us in general. Most of them. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, the businesses and, like I said, uh, population. Mm -hmm. um, and then this area was, uh, you know, just technology-driven. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things, especially with the, the Plains area, mm -hmm. having wind power. And um, a lot of them even have, um, around the coast and stuff, water power, but maybe, oh. maybe seeking to have a different <coughs> form of energy. I just... Yeah. So I think that they're, they're more... We're more rural, mm -hmm. not that some of these areas aren't. Yeah. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, you know, they have more of an opportunity mm -hmm. uh, than just our county. Okay. And so, if um, do any of your close friends here in the state of Georgia do they have solar on their roof? Nope. Why don't they? You think? Because um, we're rural, very rural. Okay. And I think um, kind of similar to me, like when I got that roof, it mm -hmm. wasn't an option. So, oh yeah. Um, that they really have to to search for somebody to be able to do that in this area. Mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily a an expertise, you know, 
So. Okay. And of course, money. Yes. Yes. So. Um, yes. So if you think if Extension offers some type of class about solar energy, because um, I don't know what we're all going to do with the research. Right. Is it what would you need to know in order for you to go to a class about um, solar energy? I mean, basic information. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the what does it cost? Uh, what types are there? Mm -hmm. you know, what's the long-term output versus what I'm going to put into it? Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, me being the female of the house, wanting it look good. I need to. I need to <laughs> see what they look like too. I'm very yes. visual. Yes. Um, yeah, just basic, basic information would be would be good. Okay. And you say cost too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else you like to add? I think I'm good.